let's talk about nigerian weddings i'm sure you've seen a post circulating on twitter about african girls getting ready to go to a wedding a nigerian themed wedding and there was some outrage in the nigerian community about the outfit these girls were wearing and in this video i'm going to tell you why so first of all before we delve into this um controversial outfits these girls were wearing let's talk about wedding customs in nigeria specifically um in the yoruba tribe i'm from the yoruba tribe in nigeria and um our wedding practices are very specific and we have some traditions and rituals um, that carry, we carry out when people are getting married and I'll be discussing those. So the first step of getting married in Yoruba land is introduction. So this step is known as mommy mo, which literally translates to I know you and you know me, which means literally introduce ourselves to each other and the purpose of this tradition is to ensure that both families are well acquainted um at this stage of the marriage rights it's limited to the um nuclear family and not the extended family so mostly the um bride and groom's parents their siblings and their immediate family members the reason why this is also practiced is um, i know it's common for people to grow up um not knowing their cousins or family members in the west but in um in nigeria that's not so common but this practice is made just to curb um you know you go into a faraway land and falling in love with your cousin or in-law and you know it's just to prevent inbreeding and just so that you know your family members um you know um, the members of your groom's family and wife's family and you know you're not accidentally committing some taboo so i think this practice is very helpful for that so um basically what happens is the groom's family members bring some gifts and they go over to the bride's family house and they say okay we're here to introduce ourselves uh with the family of so and so they get down on their knees and they say okay we've come to ask for the hand of your daughter in marriage it's actually very beautiful um it's usually a very informal step, but these days, um, people take this thing seriously. Um, they make it so lavish now that you cannot differentiate it from an engagement. And to be honest, that's not how it's meant to be. Introduction is meant to be casual, but these days everyone wants to be bougie. So they make it so big that you can differentiate that from the main wedding, which is the, um, engagement, which is some, what some people call it these days. But in Yoruba land, it is actually the main wedding, which is titled Igbeyawo. Igbeyawo literally means to carry your wife. <laughs> and basically, you're carrying your wife and taking her back home because, you know, you've done your marriage and you can carry your wife back home. So we call it Igbeyawo. This is usually the main wedding in the past. But these days, people have other religions, so they put in a third step with their religion for christians um after this um they call it engagement and then they go ahead and do their main white wedding or for muslims they do the engagement and they go on to do their nikah ceremony so but if you are none of this just the main wedding, this engagement or igbeyawo is is actually perfect um i think in most religious books anyway all that matters is that your parents have consented to your union and your family members are there to celebrate you. You don't need um, a religious figure or anything in, in your marriage. It's up to you if you want to bring that person. Um, but for traditional marriages, basically what happens is after the introduction, now you can invite all your friends, all your extended family. Um, you pick a date and then, you know, everyone arrives um, gorgeously dressed. So... Um, the attire for the Igbe Awo goes like this. For the bride, there's, the bride has to wear the most expensive fabric. So she has to wear the most important item of clothing that day to show that she's the one being celebrated. And then the bride's friends are next. They get to, they have their own clique. They have their own um, material or fabric that you know you can only identify with the bride's friends and um this is like the bridal train they have their own fabric the groom as well has his own fabric his friends have their own fabric um, it could be the same fabric for the bridesmaid and the groom's friends 
then the family members also have their own fabric as well for instance um, the bride's family sometimes would pick a different fabric and the groom's family would pick a different fabric so you can tell them apart on that day so for instance the bride's family could be wearing green and the groom's family could be wearing blue so we know so if you see anyone wearing green you know they're from the bride's family and and you know most times they do their catering separately um they do their you know they have separate clothes they stay on different sides of the hall things like that so the main wedding this is how it goes you know they bring um lots of food stuff you bring yam you bring fruits you bring vegetables you bring bags of clothes and you know nothing too much just you know some appreciative gifts to the bride's family to thank them for raising a wonderful um woman for you and then when you bring these gifts you know you also prepare like some little envelopes of money for kids in the family like the small kids uh the siblings or the friends that they share amongst each other and when you bring this you know the the groom and his family will go down on the floor they'll prostrate and they would you know ask for the hand in marriage and then both parents will pray and give their blessings and you know you know the bride and the groom are also engage in some play like giving each other food or drink or blah 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 so basically this is how the wedding goes but the main key here is that the bride wears the most important fabric and this is why um that post went viral on twitter and people were coming on to this girls not because they didn't look beautiful or because you know we are saying they cannot wear the item i mean i think mo a lot of your bad people are not really hung up on cultural appropriation but you know if you're going to appropriate like do it correctly do your research so i think for the girls i think it was an honest mistake to be fair uh that some celebrity was wearing an outfit and they were like oh we're going to wear this outfit as well to the wedding but what they were not aware was that that celebrity was a yoruba bride and she was wearing a very expensive fabric now that kind of fabric is reserved for brides but here you are the bride's friends wearing this fabric that's not how it's meant to be so people were like okay if you're wearing this what's the bride meant to wear like so so um no shade to those girls they were very beautiful but you know next time i think you have to do your research before picking outfits and you know not just making a mockery of people's cultures and i think that's where the whole um taboo or unspoken taboo came from and you know one thing that i also noticed is that the 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 girls doubled down on their decision you know and started making some derogatory statements or retweeting some statements saying um yorubas did not invent gele so something about one thing about yoruba people is that wedding that wedding style the gele the outfit the whole thing is the yoruba tribe culture and Yoruba weddings are so elaborate, so mainstream in Nigeria that, you know, lots of other Nigerian tribes, um, you know, borrow little or the, the whole style. They borrow that style of wedding um, in their own weddings as well. Not to say they don't have their own practices, but they sort of incorporate some of the elements of the Yoruba um, wedding into their weddings as well. So this has translated not only in nigeria but globally as well so i understand you know i'm not i'm not um upset that you know it's becoming a global phenomenon i mean you're about to the world yeah but <laughs> if you're going to do it do it correctly and then you're not doubling down and discrediting you know and saying oh we didn't invent that so so who did like your entire outfit was literally copied by from a yoruba bride so what are you saying so guys, um, this is my breakdown of what's happened. Um, I wouldn't necessarily fault those girls, but you know, doubling down made it a little weird for me. What do you think about the soul tobacco? Um, is it a taboo or you know, just for the sake of <laughs> globalizing our culture, should we allow people do what they want with it or um, interpret it however they want? What do you guys think?